Okay, like I said earlier, I was, I'm going to show you my, this is my arrow garden. And uh, I've gotten one of the 70 celled seed starter trays. And I've started some seeds. Now, mind you, this was one week ago. This is Friday. And I started them last Saturday. So I think they're doing pretty good. Um, my bok choy here, my bok choy, and all these lettuces here, three rows of, or two rows of, of various lettuces, they came up within two days. My marigolds here, they came up in three days. And all these little tomato plants, they came up in either four or five days. I mean, they just sprouted like crazy. So obviously this arrow garden worked. Now what I did is I know a lot of seeds don't like to uh, germinate just in bright light. So what I did is I just sprinkled sprinkled a little bit of the um, germination seed mix over the top of each cell to help them out a little bit. Um, now I've got various types of tomatoes. Uh, these are heirloom um, brandy wine, I think they're called. And then these are going to be container tomatoes. There's both, uh, or no, these are toma uh, container tomatoes. There's red robins, and then these ones are called yellow canaries. This row is just some more regular tomatoes. There's uh, sweet tangerine. They, they're, they were pretty good. I've grown them in Florida. I live in California now in the Mojave Desert, but I've grown them in Florida, and they did quite nice. And they're little tangerine-looking type uh, tomatoes. And then these ones are red lightning. I have never grown them before, so I thought I'd give them a try. Um, these ones are red... Uh, no, these ones are... Um, tumbling toms for containers that will tumble over. And these are called patio tomatoes. I've grown those before, so some of these varieties I've grown before and some of them I haven't, so this ought to be interesting. And the reason I'm doing so many of them, they're not all for me. I'm also growing for friends, so I figured, you know, while I'm starting them off, might as well. Um, these marigolds are called uh, Sophie Queen. <laughs> I have a friend with a little girl named Sophie, so I thought I'd grow a couple extra for her. Then these are little miniature bok choy that I'm trying to grow, so I've never grown bok choy before, so that'll be fun. And then, like I said, various lettuce. Now here, I don't know if you can see that, but just barely poking up is a pepper plant. And I've grown two different kinds. I've grown a sweet and then a mildly hot uh, pepper. And then, I don't know if you can see that little teeny tiny bit of green, but that's um, going to be an alpine strawberry, <laughs> of all things. And then in a few of these different styles, little tiny bits of green there. Those are going to be petunias. They're going to be a bright blue cascading. Um, this little tiny speck of green, these three I've planted with salvia, uh, or not salvia, I'm sorry, um, stevia, which is supposed to be that sugar substitute type herb. And then my favorite spearmint. I love spearmint, so I've planted those. And those are the only things that are not showing any kinds of life. So everything else, even if it's just one cell, has shown some kind of life. But those. Um, now what I did is, when planning what I wanted to grow, they include this handy chart. And as you can see, I've just uh, filled in, you know, those are all tomatoes, and my little abbreviation of what kind of tomatoes, etc. I don't know how well you can see this, but this little chart has been very handy. So when I go to plant them up, I can uh, write out the labels, and there you have it. I know exactly what kind of plant they are. Um, another thing I've tried this year is um, I've taken toilet paper rolls, cut them in half, and uh, planted them with... Uh, uh, vegetables that don't like to be transplanted, since like a lot of your squash, um, peas, and uh, cucumbers, you can do this way as well. But they don't really like having their roots disturbed. So what I've done is I've planted them in these to toilet paper rolls, and since the bottoms are bottomless, <laughs> there is no bottom, um, I, and the toilet paper roll is biodegradable, I can just stick them straight in. Um, it's a nice little substitute for uh, those peat bot pots that you can go out and buy. Because with peat pots, I still find that I have to rip off the bottom of the bo uh, peat so that the roots can come out through the bottom. Now, I just did a really simple little thing to keep track of what I've planted in this. 
And I just did this up on the computer really quick, a little, you know, how many round circles I had. And again, I just marked the date and marked what I planted in each uh, in each little cell. Um, I did these, I think, a few days after I did the arrow garden. And, you know, they're starting to come up. There's an eight ball zucchini. I haven't grown that particular type yet, but it's supposed to be good for um, planters or, you know, containers. So, and also I'm going to be making more um, self-watering containers and I'll be showing you, I plan on showing you how to do that, a cheap one made up with recycled materials mostly. Um, and I'll show you that a little later on. Well, anyways, I hope this uh, video helps and like I said, these arrow garden starter trays are great. If you have an arrow garden, I suggest getting them because if you, especially if you want to grow a lot of plants for outside, because like I said, um, two days for the bok choy and lettuce, uh, four to five days for all the tomatoes, and it's only been a week and I've already got signs of life with the peppers and, and the herbs and, and flowers. And uh, the other thing is, is that, um, oh, the seed packet for most of these, say, 7 to 14 days germination, and, uh, and then these other ones, they all say uh, 14 to 21 or more days for germination, and they're already germinating. So, oh yeah, I didn't mention this one, this little tiny green back here. That's supposed to be a heliotrope. It's one of my favorite flowers. It smells great if you ever want to grow it. It's a dark, dark blue or purple. I consider it purple. They consider it blue. It's called marine blue. Wonderful, wonderful flower. Anyways, um, I hope this uh, this video again gives you a little inspiration for growing your own veggies. See you another time. Bye.